Hi everyone, this is Anna, your onboarding specialist at TrustCloud, and today we're going to be covering all things gap analysis. What it is, why it's important, and how TrustCloud can help you leverage it to make your environment safer and more dynamic. TrustCloud is built on a common control framework, meaning we understand that many of the controls for different standards overlap or build off of each other. So we offer you the opportunity to see in real time how the controls you've adopted map to other standards. We do this for a few reasons. First of all, we want to show you how the work you do now sets you up for success in the future. Let me actually show you. I'm just going to hop into Trust Ops, then go to my controls. I'm going to click into one of these and then press Standards. So here I can actually see how that specific control maps to both of the frameworks I've enabled. So SOC 2 and ISO 27001. Then you can also see how that control measures against frameworks I haven't included in my plan. So for example, NIST or HIPAA. We show you this to demonstrate how with TrustCloud, no matter how many frameworks you've enabled, we're still making sure you only do the work once wherever possible. Second, this helps you make better informed decisions about where you want to build out your compliance program. I'll actually show you using this view right here. So if I go into the gap analysis page, I can actually see that, say for example, I've completed my SOC 2 and I'm considering which standard to go after next. I can see how close I am to being audit ready for other standards. So if I was thinking about which framework to start mapping towards next, I could say, hey, you know, I'm already 12% on the way to HIPAA. Why don't I prioritize that framework above the other ones? 